In this tutorial, you will learn about the features and functionality of our newly re-engineered website. Let's start at the new Annual Reviews homepage at www.annualreviews.org. I'll begin by showing you where to log in at the top right-hand corner of the page. While you're not required to log in to browse the website, there are some special features that are only available to registered users, which you might want to take advantage of. You can register as a new user by clicking on Register in the top right-hand corner and filling out your information. If you already have an annual reviews account, it's a good idea to log in at the start of every session to take advantage of the special features that are available. If you click on your account name link at the top right after logging in, you'll be able to update your account information, change your password or email, sign up for table of contents alerts, and manage citation tracking alerts, get article recommendations based on your reading profile, manage your favorite journals and articles, access personal subscription information, change your mailing address. To access subscriptions from your institution, you don't need to be logged in. Now let's go back to the Annual Reviews homepage where we'll browse important features that are available on the website. The website is organized in three main sections based on appropriate user audience, researchers, librarians and agents, and authors. The homepage defaults to the researchers section and the Librarian Resources Center and Authors sections are linked just below the logo in the top left corner. Browse journals by hovering over the Journals A to Z link at the top of the page. This drop-down appears throughout the Researcher section of website, so users always have an easy way to navigate to the journal content. You can click on each journal, which are listed in alphabetical order, to go directly to that journal's main home page. Now let's take a look at a journal homepage so we can explore the features and functionality available there. We'll use the Annual Review of Biochemistry as an example. In the box at the top of the journal homepage, you'll find links to more information for authors, about pricing and subscriptions, access to the RSS feed, and how to sign up for eTalk email alerts for the journal. Further down the page, you will find a series of tabs to navigate to articles, new, current volume, all volumes, and multimedia content. On the right side of the page, you will find other useful links to additional sections. These three sections have the ability to collapse or expand depending upon your preference. About this journal, general information, featured content from the journal that periodically changes, latest news will link to relevant news which is also posted to the AR blog, Below these collapsible sections, you can also view more information about each journal's editorial committee members, journal errata, and a link to recommend the journal to your librarian. Let's go now to view the current volume's table of contents. Click on the Current Volume tab, second from left, to view the table of contents for the current volume. This will give you a preview of the articles in the most recently published volume. To view the entire volume, click the link for full current table of contents. Below each article, you can select Preview to view the article's abstract and figures when figures are included. The Preview window can be closed by then selecting Hide. Once the Abstract Figures preview is opened, you will also find links to the full text article online and a link to download the PDF. From the Table of Contents page, links to full text and PDF download are located on the right side of the section. You can download the PDF or view the full text version of the article using these icons. Logged in subscribers can also view the full text article page by clicking on the article title. From the other tabs located near the top of this page, you can select All Volumes to view any volume TOCs by selecting the year and volume from the pull-down menus. The last tab is for Multimedia, which includes links to our audio and video materials, including supplemental multimedia. Now let's view the full text article page by clicking on any article title from any of the tabs, New, Current Volume, or All Volumes. Some articles are available without a subscription. Let's select one of those as an example to view article features. If at any time you need to return to the Table of Content page, you can use your browser's back button or select the volume in the breadcrumbs. You can also navigate to a different journal by hovering over Journal's A to Z link from the top navigation of the site and then selecting the journal that you are interested in. 
Below the title of the full text online version of the article, you'll see biographical metadata and links to article metrics. Article metrics include Time Cited and Citation Network, which provides links to citation download, management tools, and citing articles. Citation Network information is provided by Crossref, Web of Science, and PubMed. The citation management tools allow you to download article metadata to a number of citation managers and sign up to be notified via email when the article is cited. From the full text, the left-hand menu links allow you to quickly navigate to different features of the article, including abstract, keywords, literature cited, and major sections of the review. Quick tip. Select the abstract link from the list of article sections on the left side to return to the beginning of the article. You can also select the white arrow in the orange box at the bottom right-hand corner of the page. You'll notice a box to the right that contains literature cited and related reviews and remains in place as you scroll down the article. When articles are indexed by Crossref, Web of Science, and PubMed, those links are provided beneath the individual references. Articles that contain figures and illustrations will include a carousel of thumbnail-sized images at top right of the article just beside the title box. Figures are also embedded throughout the full text of the article. Larger sized figures can be viewed by clicking on the thumbnail image. Let's click on a figure to see its features. The arrows at the top of the viewing box allow you to scroll through all figures in the article. You can also download a full resolution image by clicking on the box, Download Full Resolution. Figure locations show a snippet of the article text where the particular figure is referenced. If you click on that text, you will be relocated to a highlighted section of the article where the image is referenced. This feature also works in reverse. If you are reading the article text and click on an image, it will open the figure viewing box. Next, you'll find the literature cited list on the right-hand side of the page, which also includes open URL linking via Crossref, Medline, and the Web of Science. By rolling over the blue dots next to Article Locations, for each cited article, you can view contextual snippets that are highlighted and linked to the places in the text where each reference is cited. In addition, when applicable, you can view other annual reviews articles that cite the same reference by clicking on More AR Articles citing this reference. This feature also works in reverse from the article's full text. If you are reading the article text and click on the number of a cited reference, that reference will be highlighted for further exploring within the Literature Cited section to the right. Beside the Literature Cited tab, you will also find a Related Reviews section, which lists links to other reviews related to the selected article's topic or author. Now that you have seen how to browse and navigate to content, let's return to the home page to highlight the search features that are available on the website. You can search by keyword, phrase, author, DOI, and journal directly from the home page. There is also a small search box available at the top right-hand corner of every page signaled by the small magnifying lens icon. Let's do a search using the keyword chemotherapy. The search results page offers additional options for narrowing the results, including specifying journals, authors, and date of publication. You can also sort your results from the right side of the results list by date of publication or relevance. Finally, you'll see options from the top of the results section to view your search results by journal content, figures, tables, and supplemental materials. Lastly, you have the option to save your search, but you must be a registered user and logged in to do so. Once you are logged in, you can name your search and save it for future reference. In the top right-hand side of the search results list, look for Follow Results option and click on the small magnifying glass icon with the plus symbol. Create your search name and select your preference for how often you'd like to be notified about this saved search. Your options are Never, Daily, Weekly, Monthly. Search results will be sent to the email address associated with your account. In the future, when you are logged into your account, you can access previously saved searches via the refined search window on the search results page as well as from your personal profile from saved searches option. This concludes our tutorial. 
Thank you for taking the time to learn about the features and functionality of the Annual Reviews website. We hope you find the website and journal content useful. We welcome your feedback by emailing marketing at annualreviews.org.